Hey guys. Hi. How's it going? It's mm -hmm. late and we're tired, but it was a good night. Was it was it a freaking awesome night. <laughs> it was amazing, amazing night. Um, so we went to uh, the Skyway, uh, where this particular show was rescheduled after North Star closed unexpectedly, which <laughs> still no one knows why. Yeah. Um, and it was Trent's birthday show. Horse Yay. Lord's Horse Lord's birthday show. Happy birthday. Um, and he handpicked uh, this particular lineup of two bands that were having their first show and two bad bands that were coming back. Mm -hmm. um, reuniting. Or... Reuniting and, and mm -hmm. all that fun stuff. It so, feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so first up, uh, playing their first show, was a band called uh, Telekinetic Overdrive. Yes. Um, these guys were interesting.
bugger. Um, the first couple songs actually reminded me of um, Almost Honest. The oh. the kind of stoner, mm. pseudo kind of stoner uh, stuff. And then they mm -hmm. played a couple of covers. Mm -hmm. And then they played another original, which is like kind of funky. Mm -hmm. And then they did another original. And then mm -hmm. they did Slither, which is kind of an odd version of Slither. Mm -hmm. And then the last song was like metal as fuck. Yeah, it was. So it was a little... Went like all crazy. Like, yeah, it was a little like, confusing, but not expected. But I mean, holy crap! But potential for sure. I mm -hmm. mean, yeah, these oh, guys. Oh, I totally. I was digging them like, mm -hmm. like hardcore. Man. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So, so they were definitely interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, second band up, um, was Prismic, Prismic Eye. Eye, who when they first started. Uh, their singer wasn't on stage, and they were doing this really, really um, atmospheric, moody, almost mm. jazz-type stuff. And I'm like, okay, these guys instrumental? And then the singer mm. came on, and mm. they were not instrumental. They, were, <laughs> they went into this thing, mm. um, which was heavy and a little proggy and a little kind of epic and, yeah. It
yeah, it was definitely interesting. But I think that's the band that one of their last songs sounded very 2112-ish to me mm -hmm. in a way. And I was kind of like, ooh. Like, yeah, very had a very 2112-ish vibe in there. Oh, mm -hmm. Rush, if for those who, yeah, for those that are who don't know too much of Iron Bank. Nope, I was just okay. um, <clears throat> Yeah, so they were good. I mean, I, they, mm -hmm. they impressed me. They really impressed me. Um, mm -hmm. I'll have to keep an eye out for them. Yeah. Um, mm, their band. Their band was the return of Pandemic Inc., a band I first saw um, back at the Opinion Brewery, if you know, you know, that the Opinion, Opinion Brewery, which has been closed for years and years and years. Mm. So this is probably 2016, maybe. Wow. Uh, and it was the benefit out there, and they were playing. Um, and I remember them. I remember liking them. I got their, their CD. Mm -hmm. I would have gotten a T-shirt, but they didn't have it in my size. Mm. You know? um, um, but that that is a band that has Chuck. And if you know Chuck, you know Chuck. He's <laughs> um, also doing an acoustic uh, pseudo-country thing called uh, Chuck Dead. I think is what the name oh, of it is. Oh, um, yeah, okay. And so, yeah. So again, if you know Chuck, you know Chuck. I mean, he's a good guy. We like Chuck. Mm -hmm. And um, he did a pre pre show birthday song for pre show Trent. birthday song for Trent, uh, mm -hmm. which we missed. Uh, but mm -hmm. we ran into him outside, and he was talking about it, and we're like, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. um, but there was video taken, so that will be posted at some point somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, I forgot how good Pandemic was. And mm. yeah, they, they. Wow. Yeah. Hell yeah. So I'm going to give a big shout out right now. Right now for Pandemic Incorporated getting back together after three years. Yeah. Yeah. I want to just give a big shout out to both of these fuckers. They're brothers. Show him where he goes fucking life kicks you in the fucking teeth. You kick it right back. These guys got this band going again, so it's all to these guys, alright? So give them a fucking round of applause real quick. Yeah. I got this guy saying this on stage. Hey, I'm there, fuck face.
<laughs> yes, I did. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Um. I mean, it, it's. I don't know if I would describe it. It's more hard rock, I think, than metal. But then there's a mm. little. This time around, there's a little like new metal edge, a little mm. bit. Um, or a little something yeah. happening. Um, but yeah, they're they're good. Um, mm. and it sounds like they're they're back again now. Um, after three years, I think they said. Yeah. Uh, three year absent. Mm, I um, believe so. So yeah, definitely check them out. Um, and then the last band up, if you want to grab the the merchandise. Oh yeah. Um, was uh, the return of Synopsis, um, who is a band. Uh, and I will get the. And get the CD, um, which is a band that <sighs> has been around for a while, or was, was around, and then um, if you, they were on, let's see, I don't know how much of that I'll pick up, but. Let me flip it around. Probably can't read any of those titles, mm -hmm. but it's okay. Um, uh, they were on uh, Ritual Madness podcast, uh, Greg Chilton's podcast, uh, two weeks ago, I think. Um, uh, Dom, the drummer, and and why am I blanking on his name? Brad and Tom. Brad, thank you. The, Brad. Yeah. Um, they were on, on Ritual Madness and they're talking about it. And um, Dom left Synopsis uh, because him and, and Brittany were having their first kid. Yeah. So we wanted to be there for that. And then apparently after Dom left the thing, it just kind of fell apart. Mm -hmm. But it was Dom who years later after Sawyer was a little bit older and, you know, Mm. was good he was like yeah can we get back on stage again can we do this again? <laughs> um so that i didn't know until mm. i saw the podcast so that was kind of cool um and 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 i mean dom is a good guy i've known dom forever um from when he was back in in infamous memories and uh my very first interview that i did in mm. this apartment mm -hmm. um and he he's the one that dubbed it the den of flyers which is <laughs> appropriate yeah um but Dom, Dom's a good guy. If you if you know Dom, he's he's an he's a good guy. He's just solid people. And, Seems very awesome. And it was good to see him on stage again because it's been it's been too long. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, and then uh, they synopsis had a big surprise. If you've been following them on Facebook, they've been teasing about who their new singer is going to be. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, it was.
was Horselord. It was our good buddy Trent uh, hey. back on stage with Birthday Synopsis. Birthday Boy. Birthday Boy, which was awesome. I think that's an excellent fit. Um, wow. And I think he'll bring, I think he'll bring good things to that band. I, I, I think so. I just, I, I'm, I'm happy <laughs> because I really like his, his style of singing or yeah, vocalist his, his vocal or whatever. Delivery, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm freaking, freaking fantastically stoked. Like so happy <laughs> because like, I just, yeah. From the first time seeing them live, I was just like him live with mm -hmm. living through ghosts. I was just like, whoa, mm -hmm. it's different. Just good and just growly sometimes and mm -hmm. not and other times it just which makes just sounds stupid but it, <laughs> but it's just fabulous but yeah. the way i say it sounds dumb but it's just but it makes i'm sense. so happy yeah. um yeah and this was technically both our first times seeing synopsis mm -hmm. because last time i was supposed to play the, see them um which is that uh, Whiskey Junction, which again tells you how long ago that was. Uh -huh. um, it was for uh, Mike Bloodfist. I don't know if it was Bloodfist Wedding or the benefit he had for Corinne. One of the two. Um, and they were the opening band, but I got there literally just after their set. Mm. And when, when I just saw Dom tonight, I was like, I was retelling that story. And I'm like, yeah, because I remember seeing Dom and apologizing for being there late. And he's like, ah, it's all right. You didn't miss anything. <laughs> Um, but apparently I did because synopsis mm -hmm. is pretty freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. Um, so definitely check them out too. Um, and then at the very end of the night, um, we got a little surprise, uh, cause Matt Rutherford now of, uh, better broken was there and Dom was there and they used to both be in infamous memories. So as the encore, Matt came on stage and with Dom and they played a couple infamous memories songs. Give it up for fucking synopsis. Sorry, I can't remember the first man's fucking name. <laughs>
which was cool, which I was talking to Matt afterwards because I was like, that was really unexpected, but very cool. He's like, yeah, uh, Trent told me about five minutes before Synopsis <laughs> went on stage that this was going to happen. Mm, so it's like, funny. okay, cool. <laughs> um, but that being said, I mean, they, yeah. It, and and these are songs that neither of them played in five years, seven years. Oh, wow. I mean, it's been a while. Um, hmm. So, yeah. So that, that was fun to see them on stage um, again. And it was another one of those nights where so many of our friends were there so many of our friends which was awesome um people i haven't seen literally in years like i haven't seen sasquatch and oh god four or five years probably wow i haven't seen dom since his last show which i think was 2019 mm. uh gone. um yeah i mean there was just a ton of people there and and a lot of good people and and chilton was there and mm. um Lou was there and Trent was there, obviously, and mm-hmm. and and Al, uh, and Al, Alan, Al, Alan Town and um, so many people and um, Justin, Justin Tank, just Tank Justin, um, mm-hmm. and and Rutherford, obviously, and mm-hmm. and Keeley, and yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, just mm-hmm. lots of people, and and it was just a good, good, again, just a good vibe in the room, just mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. Oh, and Alex. We can't forget Alex oh, and, and Alex. Dan. Alex and Mosher Dan. Yeah. They, they, they like were there. Mosher Dan, who and, knows and, how to just mosh perfectly that I don't get broken. Yes. Yeah. One of the most considerate uh, moshers. The most. The most considerate king of the pit we, mm-hmm. that will ever be. Mm-hmm. Um, and so him and Alex were there. Um, Kellerman showed up uh, somewhere yeah. during the night. Mm-hmm. Loud Dan showed oh, yeah, up. I was gonna say Loud Dan. I turned around and there he is. Yeah, he, he like, showed oh. up. I think like during synopsis, mm. synopsis. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> uh, during their set. Um, mm. So he was there. Yeah, I mean it was. Yeah, lots of people. Fairly good turnout, I gotta say. Um, yeah. yeah. That place was pretty full. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and this was your first time in in yeah. uh, Studio B over so, there. Uh huh. Yeah. I was like, this is a nice little cozy kind of vampire-esque mm-hmm. kind of yeah it was nice and the bartender i did not get his name i usually get my server slash bartender's names but he was very speedy like i don't think people waited hardly at all. he wasn't the only one back there like people didn't mm-hmm. wait hardly at all and very efficient and mm-hmm. nice cordial and thanked anytime you tipped him he thanked you went you know, like mm-hmm. yeah yeah most of the yeah. bartenders they have there are, are mm-hmm. fairly good so yeah he was um, he was real decent so yeah yeah that was fun yeah so Mm -hmm. good time was had by all Mm -hmm. yes Mm -hmm. yay yeah so that's all we got it's very late and this one has to work in we're not going to say how many hours but yeah i said it she said he wasn't going to say it but i said you have to work in five hours you have to leave here in Uh, like four three and a half yeah, yeah, yeah. Three and a half. Yep. So we got to get this one to bed, mm. at least get a little bit of sleep. Make a pot of coffee for um, first thing I get to work tomorrow. Yeah, for sure. Um, that's what I do. But, you know. It was worth it, though. It was totally Very worth, worth it. It, it uh-huh. was totally worth it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, until until the next one. We'll see you. Don't be a dick and <laughs> support our locals and, and mm-hmm. what else? Whatever else we, tip your bartenders, tip your bartenders and, and waitresses and support your bands. Support your bands and, and buy your merch and everything else. And, yeah. Yeah. And all that. So good night.